be putting the last year's into the same back to the disc. Oh, yeah? yeah. yeah. Oh, by the computers, though? I said no, you got to buy it. So, how did, you, uh, how did you turn yourself into what's commonly known as an enforcer? Well, uh, that's a funny thing, actually, because I, uh, I moved to a different town whenever I played Junior A, so I had to make the hockey team there, and they had a draft system in their Junior A program, and I didn't get, didn't get drafted or nothing, so I was a walk-on, so I figured the best way to go about things were to be knock some heads around and stuff to get noticed, and it just kind of stuck, I guess. <laughs> and is, is that a fairly common way for, uh, for enforcers to become that way? Is, is it because... You're not the most talented hockey players, or just because you enjoy it? Oh. 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 I'm going to have to uh, answer that question with another question. How hard do you think I can punch you in the face? <laughs> you had uh, quite an arduous journey coming over, didn't you? Yeah, it was long. I uh, flew from Thunder Bay uh, to Minneapolis. Uh, Stayed for about seven hours in the airport, then flew to Amsterdam, and then flew from there to to uh, Manchester. So eventually I got here, a day, about a day later. <laughs> and uh, and straight onto the ice the following night. Have you done that many times in your career before? Straight, more or less straight off a plane or off a bus into a game? Off a bus and out of the car, yeah. For Obviously for when you get called up uh, back in North America, you have to get there for that day and play that night. So, But nothing like traveling for about 24 hours. <laughs> that was the first. <laughs> But living in a city that didn't have much hockey at that time, were, were, were you tempted by other sports? Uh, a little bit. I, I wasn't. You know, I tried to play baseball. I wasn't very good at it. I was absolutely awful at basketball. Uh, football, I really had no pleasure in American football. And, uh, <laughs> hockey just seemed to be the way to go. My brother played it, so I played it. Is your brother a goalie? Uh, no, he's actually a forward. This is a question. Uh, how I got started, he's 10 years older than me, and he just started playing. Uh, he built a net. That was about my size. I was two years old and shot a ball at me in the basement. <laughs> From then on, I was a goalie. <laughs> the youngest is always the patsy. Oh, yeah. He said, if you cry, you can't play with me anymore. So I had to toughen up pretty quick. <laughs> and uh, other than your own passion for football, soccer, as uh, you call it in North America, any other sports ever coming on, on your horizon? No, I tried baseball. I wasn't good. I tried basketball. I couldn't, couldn't sink the ball from far away. That was it, just soccer and hockey for me. I, actually, I used to ski jump as well. A lot of snow back home, obviously, um, so I used to ski a lot as well. You went further than Eddie the Eagle, though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I did. People tend to think that uh, the enforcers are just there for one, one only job, but that's not really the case, is it? Well, whenever I was growing up, like whenever you're playing, you're a kid, you always you don't think anything about that. So I was always a good hockey player, like I said, I had to make my name for myself, and uh, I did that, and then I got to uh, play more and more in junior and stuff. And I got up getting almost 30 goals my last year in junior, and then got drafted high, and and now I'm here trying to get points for Tony. <laughs> uh, I, I, my emotions get the better of me sometimes. I play very emotionally, uh, and. You know, sometimes it's stupid penalties and i got to watch myself and sometimes I just don't like when people get around me, so that's, it'll be that way all year. Sometimes you guys might like it, sometimes you might not, so that's just me. It all comes from the fans, and, and their support is what uh, keeps our team going. So, uh, the more people come out here, and the more, uh, the better the team does, better owner does, and the more we have fun playing for them. You do a lot of training during the week, so is it good to have a night off like tonight? Oh, definitely. You know, it's uh, you get sort of monotonous doing the same thing day in and day out. You go to practice, go to the gym, go home, go for dinner. So it's nice to get out and uh, you know speak to some different people, get the, the feel of the city. And the supporters have not only met you, but also met your son this evening. Yeah, he was uh, really well behaved tonight. He, he got to see a lot of people. Uh, people are, are enjoying him, so that, that makes me feel good being a, a father of a, of a good you know, a baby that's just happy. <laughs> no, it's been great. It's good to see all the fans and everyone come out, so I uh, know it's fantastic. Uh, I feel bad for the guys that have to go up there, but uh, no, it's fun. It's, everyone enjoys it. Everyone gets a laugh, so no, it's good. Good times. Are we ever going to find the sensitive side of Brett Cloutier? Are we ever going to learn the poetry or anything? No comment, no comment. <laughs> <laughs>